Howdy YouTubers, this is Jared and Sam, morning of Sunday, July 2nd, 2023, we're up uh, hiking up the side of Mount Tipinogos, and uh, <clears throat> it's a beautiful morning up here. I just want to talk a little bit about some principles that I have been pondering on my way up here. It's interesting that we, uh, well it's not interesting, it's it's uh, as expected, we're meeting very, very few hikers up here. Uh, mostly because we got a bunch of glaciers we have to cross. You can see some glacier in the background here. But in order to, to traverse this, um, this terrain and to do this kind of a hike, you need to have very, very precise preparation. <clears throat> very precise preparation. I was just telling Sam about uh, how this is probably... Uh, you know, I've got my backpack on, but of all the hikes I've been on, and I've been on a lot of hikes, this is probably the least amount of gear I've ever had on a hike. Mostly because um, in past, past uh, hikes I've way over prepared and I don't even use half the stuff I bring with me. So now I know exactly what I need. And uh, uh, the big game changer today is uh, having these uh, trekking poles. And then having these uh, crampon uh, things on your feet. Um, without that, there's no way I could uh, traverse these glaciers. Um, they're pretty steep, they're slick, and the hiking boots I've got on, I've had for about six years, and they're like skis. But uh, having, having the right gear is absolutely um, critical to be able to do this sort of adventure. Uh, and so, you know, as we're traversing um, mortality, as we're trying to uh, climb the mountain of the Lord, it's very, very important that we have very precise preparation. Um, we were, I was just telling Sam, you know, we've both been uh, working out a lot in the last few years, doing lots of running, and so it's important to have the right body, which sounds kind of egotistical, but whatever, um, the right gear, the right attitude, and then most of all, the, the right knowledge. And we gain that knowledge through experience and through uh, lots of study. So if you do those things and you uh, take those steps to climb the mountain of the Lord and to become everything that the Lord wants you to be, then you're going to find yourself in very, very beautiful places and uh, things that almost nobody else gets to see, things that almost nobody else gets to do, things that almost nobody else gets to learn. Um, but... Uh, you know, these things are available. They're absolutely available to everybody. Nobody is, nobody is denied access to the great blessings that the Lord has in store for all of us. If we take the steps, do the work, and qualify ourselves to go to those places and receive those things. Um, I was just, uh, just one last thought. Uh, while I'm at it, I was listening to a, uh, video by Rob Smith about hearing the voice of the Lord. He says that the voice of the Lord, we hear the voice of the Lord when we're in His presence. And so the more we're in His presence, the more we do things which bring us into His presence, the more we can hear His voice to be taught by Him. And uh, I was just thinking this morning, in the last few days, uh, a lot of people are really discouraged because they uh, like me, like all of us, we read the scriptures, we read all these awesome books about the scriptures, and then it's so frustrating that, you know, a day or two later, you feel like you retained uh, maybe 2%. But you know what? That's not the point. The point is, is that that is time with God. And we need to be spending time with God, um, get into His presence as much as we can, and that influences us. That influences what we know, what's in our subconscious, uh, it influences our character, and that gives him an opportunity to more directly and more effectively speak his will to us, to speak his, his, uh, his commandments, his wisdom, the things that he wants us to know. So let's take the time, let's make the preparation, and uh, learn the things we need to learn, and do our best to take the steps to climb the mountain of the Lord, to hear his voice, and to get where, where we can be if we do these things. Right. We'll uh, see you later.